Today's video lesson is going to be on comparing and contrasting Google Docs, or as it's called now, Google Drive, versus Microsoft Office. And Microsoft Office is the common thing that we use in the school systems, which is like the documents and the PowerPoints and Publisher and Excel documents. Whereas Google Docs or Google Drive has come up with some of those similar features, but it's all online, or as it's called, in the cloud. I'm just gonna show you a quick PowerPoint presentation in which it shows a little bit of the similarities and the differences, and I'll do my best to show you how each is used and the advantages of going with Google Drive. First off, Google Docs, as it was called, it's a new way to work with your classmates and teachers on documents, and I think this is a great picture showing that it's in the cloud. And what in the cloud means to me is when it's out there on the web or online, you can get access to it from any computer that has internet access, which is a huge advantage of Google Documents as compared to Microsoft Office. Now there are things on Microsoft Office package of their suite that you can't do on Google Drive, but the overwhelming biggest positive of Google Drive, any computer with internet access, you can get to your documents. Here's a couple of just the comparisons here. Now if you look at the left hand side, it does say Google Drive and Google Drive is the new name it's been given. Google Drive is online. The collaboration by sharing is so easy. And one of the best features if you are a teacher using this, it automatically saves every one or two seconds. You cannot have a student say, it didn't save correctly, I don't know where I saved it, I don't know what's going on. There's no way that it doesn't save, it automatically saves. Another awesome feature of Google Drive, you could have 50 editors on the exact same document at the exact same time and it's going to automatically save every one or two seconds. If we flip to the other hand, the other side, the Microsoft suite of package, packages has, it's on a computer. So for instance, if a student types something on their documents, they have to get access to that computer that has my documents. They need a flash drive to transfer a project. Or they can email it, but the problem with email is, if the file is too big, it could potentially crash the entire email system for our district. You can only have one editor at a time. So let's say a student starts a project in the computer lab, they put it on their flash drive, they take their flash drive home to work on the project, they can copy it into their computer, work on it, they can put it back on the flash drive, bring it back to school. That works. On the flip side, Google Drive, the same student works on the project, it automatically saves for them, when they go home or to the library or somewhere else, they don't take the flash drive with them. It's automatically on their Google Drive. Something else with Microsoft Suite, you have to worry about which version you have. Now there have been several times I'm sure that you've been typing a, a document up in Microsoft and it says, sorry, can't figure out what's going on basically because it's Office 03 or Office 07 or Office 10. The versions don't exactly connect excellent feature of Google Drive. It doesn't matter if you have a tablet, you can have a Dell, you can have a gateway, you can have any type of computer. It doesn't matter if it's brand new, couple years old, any computer with internet access, you can get to Google Drive. Here's a couple of Google Docs review or Google Drive review. It allows you to work on documents, presentations, which are kind of like PowerPoints, forms, which I have another video tutorial out there that shows what the forms are. And it also allows you to do spreadsheets on any computer with internet. I can't say that enough how awesome that is to have a great feature. You can collaborate with students and teachers from other schools. You can have a student from Cardinal working on the exact same project that a student from Lewis and Clark at the exact same time. And it updates that second. What an awesome feature. Now I'm just going to show you a couple of things on how Microsoft Office works. If you have a Microsoft Word document, you can open up the Word document and you can start to type. Let's just say this is a test. Now if I were to save this document, I would have to save it to my specific folder. Here's the problem. When I go home on the weekend to work on this document and I want to actually create a test for my students, I have to either email it to myself 
and I hope that the file's not too big, I have to put it on a flash drive or I have to take home my laptop with me. That's what Microsoft Word does. Now, on the flip side, if you had Google Drive and you used a Google document, you just type it up, it automatically saves for you. You go home, pull up your My Drive in Google, and it's automatically there. Now, there are features that Microsoft Word has that we clearly don't have on Google, Google Documents yet, but I guarantee it's coming soon. Also, when you create a, let's go to a PowerPoint presentation. Now, if we're just going to do a regular PowerPoint presentation, here's our PowerPoint layout. It has a ton of features on it. Now, Google's version of this is called Google Presentations. When I'm working on this PowerPoint right here, I can be the only one on this document at this time, or this presentation. Now, let's say we're going to have a group of fourth grade students collaborate on text features. Excellent project. Here's the problem with Microsoft PowerPoint. I can only have one student work on this particular assignment, let's say it's text features, at a time. So if I have one student typing in text features and they want their partner in a different class to work on it with them, they have to go over here to File, they have to click on Save As, they have to figure out where to save it so their partner knows where it saves. Sure, it's easy to save it to my documents, I get that. But the problem is, when the student opens that version up, they have to make corrections to it. And then they have to resave it back onto my documents. They have to tell their partners where it's saved. There's a lot of confusion going on. Whereas if you use Google Presentations, it automatically saves it in my drive. Let's go ahead and open up Google Drive real quick. So if I have my account open, and I am in, in Google right now, I'm just going to click on drive. So now this is the drive where it shows my documents that I've created. So my drive is considered the ones that I've created. Now if you click on shared with me, these are all of the documents that other people have shared with you. If you want to access those, you can just click on it right here and you can start to work on it. Now let's go ahead and let's create one of those documents. So now let's go and look at it this way. If this is our test, this is a test, I don't have to save it. It automatically saves for me. If I want to title it something different, I surely can. If I want the help of my colleagues on this test, this is a big test. And I want to use this as a CFA for the whole third or fourth or whatever grade you teach. You can go over here to where it says share. I can click on share. I can give access to people that are anyone with this link, I can give access to other people. I can allow them to change the document. I don't have to worry about saving it or putting on a flash drive or worrying about, oh darn it, I forgot my laptop again. When it's in the cloud, it's everywhere. Thank you very much.